This Pinterest profile, despite having just 1,800 followers, generates around $869 per month solely from ad revenue. Additionally, it receives approximately 30,000 monthly visits and let's just say 15,000 originate from Pinterest. So assuming they offer a keto product priced at around $24 and only 1% of those 15,000 visitors purchase it, they could potentially earn $3,600 from affiliate sales in addition to a few hundred dollars from ad revenue. So I could show you other accounts that earn significantly more, but I chose to showcase a smaller one to illustrate how even starting from scratch with dedication and effort, you can quickly turn it into a full-time income and beyond. So with the assistance of AI, we can expedite the process. I'll introduce you to some of the top AI tools for crafting highly captivating visuals. So if you're willing to learn, let's not prolong it further and dive into the content without any delay. Keto is a highly searched topic and is relevant all year round. And if we search for keto on trends.pinterest.com, you can see this is still a trending topic. And most of the interest comes from females and 76% of Pinterest users are female. So this is a great niche that you can go into and start promoting different keto related affiliate products. Now, if you scroll further down, you'll also be able to see popular pins, which you can also recreate. But what we can do is use AI art and make these pins look even more better guys. So we can get much better reach and engagement because Pinterest is a visual search engine. So the better your pins look, you'll be able to reach a much wider audience and you'll be able to get more pin clicks to whichever offers that you are promoting. So what we want to do is take inspiration from other pages in the keto niche. And then we need to focus on what makes those pages successful, such as their aesthetic content strategy and engagement tactics. And then we can apply those same principles to create original content tailored to your own unique perspective and audience. To find accounts related to the keto niche, just come to the search bar, type in keto, and then you want to select profiles. This is going to open up all the different profiles. You'll be able to see how many followers they have and what they're actually doing to understand their success. Take for example, my account. Now I'm not as active as I should be on Pinterest. I've only got 85 followers and 3.6 thousand monthly views. And I redirect all my Pinterest traffic to my YouTube channel where I can give more value, build a relationship with my audience, and then I can recommend them products on the back end. And that's how I'm able to make money with Pinterest affiliate marketing. If we look at this keto pin here, they're gonna redirect all their traffic to their own blog. It redirects people to their own blog where they're going in detail how to make this specific recipe. And this is something they're also doing is collecting a name and email address to build their email list. This is definitely a strategy that we also need to implement to build our email list and make money through email marketing. So you understand the concept guys, when you're uploading these pins, you wanna either redirect people to a blog or a vlog. So a video or an article. What most YouTubers will tell you to do is just add your link to a bridge page, which you can create using beacons.ai or Linktree, redirect all that traffic to your affiliate offers. That is definitely the wrong way to do it, guys. You're not building any value. You're just trying to sell people. You're not actually providing them with any real value when they click, when they come across your pin and they see a pin like this. And when they click on this link, it takes them to your bridge page and they click on one of them links and it takes them to your affiliate offer. It's going to be very difficult for you to make sales, if any, guys. So that's a complete waste of time. So that's why I recommend you watch this video right to the very end so you understand how you can make your first $10,000 with Pinterest affiliate marketing. The first thing you need to do is create yourself a Pinterest business account. And this is going to give you access to Pinterest analytics, which is going to allow you to track the performance of your pins. And this is going to help you understand your audience better and optimize your content strategy to drive even more traffic and sales. And then you want to create yourself a Pinterest profile. For this, we can use the help of ChatGPT and give ChatGPT a prompt like, can you give me some brand name ideas in the keto niche for my Pinterest account along with a catchy bio ensuring my profile is complete and includes relevant keywords in my bio, username and board titles to improve searchability. From here, you can select a brand name. So for this example, it's given, a, it's given us a bio for keto craze, which you can use. Username could be keto craze journey. And it's also going to give you a list of board titles to help you get discovered and much better reach. And it's also ensuring us to use relevant keywords such as keto, low carb, ketogenic health fats, weight loss through your bio, username and board titles. And this will also enhance your searchability and track your target audience. Because we know that Pinterest is a search engine, when people are typing in these specific keywords, your pins and your profile are more likely to show up. So that's why this is important to implement this strategy, guys. 
So once you've created your profile, you've completed all the necessary fields, you can upload a keto photo. What you can do is use Leonardo AI, search for keto, and it's going to give you different images related to keto that you can use. You can also change the prompts. We're also going to use Leonardo AI to create Pinterest pins, really unique Pinterest pins. So this would be your brand name. This would be the about section. And then here is the website. Now this website is going to lead us to an opt-in page, which is going to look something like this because we're going to give away something for free to entice people to give us their name and email address so we can build our email list and make money through email marketing. I'll also go into this in further detail throughout the video. And now we're going to use ChatGPT once again and ask ChatGPT to give us a list of popular keto recipes that are frequently searched. And now it's going to give us a list of different popular keto recipes. What we now need to do is create pins around these different recipes. So what we could do is come back to Pinterest. We're going to click on one of these pins. We're going to click on the website and we obviously want to see what they're doing. If we look at this keto Big Mac smash burger, the first thing they're explaining is what is a smash burger. So what we could do is come back to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT, can you explain what is a keto bacon and cheese cauliflower casserole? Click on send message. It's going to give us a breakdown of the components. And then this blog goes into the recipe. It also lists the prep time, the cook time, the servings, and the nutrition value. We're also going to give ChatGPT a prompt. Can you also provide me with a list of ingredients, the prep time, the cook time, the servings, and the nutritional value along with the directions? So you can see it's given us a detailed recipe for the keto bacon and cauliflower cheese casserole. It's given us the ingredients the prep time, the cook time, the servings, the nutritional information, and also the directions. What we can also do is ask ChatGPT, can you also add what utensils are required just to add more value? And now what you can do is start adding this onto a website where we're gonna redirect all our traffic from Pinterest, where they can learn a little bit more about the recipe and also entice them with a free giveaway. The website you can use guys is Google Sites to create yourself a free website. Now you can either start from scratch or you can click onto template gallery. Let's go ahead and have a look at this restaurant template. When it comes to creating this website, I would highly recommend that you create a professional looking website. Now this is obviously brought us to the home page. This is where you're going to add in your branding. It's going to be the same branding as your Pinterest profile. So for this example, our brand name was Keto Craze. We can ask ChatGPT to also provide us with a tagline for our brand name. So what we can do is copy this tagline and then we can replace this text with our tagline. Now, obviously you can go ahead and play around with the sizes, guys. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but what I do highly recommend is you go ahead and create a professional looking website because this is gonna build more trust and more credibility because you're gonna send all your traffic to this website and you wanna make this website look as attractive as possible. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I recommend that you go ahead and play around with the settings and learn a little bit more about how to use Google Sites. I'm not, I'm not an expert at using Google Sites, guys. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. This is where you can also add your logo at the top left hand side you can create yourself a logo and what you can also do to help you create this website is ask chat gpt for example i'm creating a website around the keto niche can you help me create a home page because this is going to be the home page and at the top you're going to have different sections and it's going to give you some ideas about the header section display your website logo prominently at the top left hand corner for branding and then it recommends that you include a navigation menu, include a clear and concise navigation menu at the top right corner. And the items could include home recipes, blog about us contact. To change it from chef to blog, what you could do is click onto pages, click on these three dots, click onto properties, and you can change it to blog, click onto done. And as you can see, it's changed it to blog now. If you want contact at the end, just click onto pages, click onto contacts, and just drag it to the bottom. Now you can see that contact us is at the end. So you've got the home, you've got blog. Now we can change menu, click onto menu, click onto properties, you can change it to recipe. So now you can see we've got home, blog, recipes, contact us. What you can do is select recipes. You're gonna change this header. So you could have something like delicious keto recipes created in minutes. And now this is where you can start adding in all your different recipes. So for example, the first one we got ChatGPT to create was keto bacon and cheese cauliflower casserole. So we can add that in there. And then to grab a photo, what you can do is come to Leonardo.ai, create yourself a free account. You get 150 tokens every single day. Each image takes around eight tokens to generate. So you just want to go ahead and create yourself a free account. And then you want to come over to AI image generation. And then here, what we can do is type in keto bacon and cauliflower cheese casserole. Click on generate. 
it's generated four different images for us that you can use. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe select this one here, click on to download, and you can use the same image for your Pinterest pin, guys. So I'm gonna click on to download image. Actually, what I'm going to do is delete this whole section, come to the right hand side, click on insert, and then click on to content block. It's given us a new content block. And then here, what I can do is click on this plus icon, click on to upload, and then upload our image just like this. And then we can also go ahead and stretch it out so the whole image is visible. This is where we can start adding in all the components. So just come back to ChatGPT. First, we're going to copy the explanation. First, we're going to explain what this recipe is. We can just paste the information from ChatGPT. And then we can copy the components. And then we're going to add in the breakdown of the components. So guys, as you can see, you want to make this as detailed as possible because it provides a lot of value. People are going to trust in your brand a lot more. It's going to give you much better credibility. So you want to make it as professional as possible. And you just want to simply go ahead and repeat the process. And then we're also going to add in the ingredients list, the prep time, the cooking, the nutritional information, and then all the instructions to make it. Now, I'm just doing this very quickly just to give you an example of what it should look like. So this is our first recipe that we've just created, keto bacon and cauliflower cheese casserole. It explains what it is, the breakdown of the components, the ingredients, the nutritional information, and the directions. And this is where you want to add in all your different recipes, guys. If we come back to stylish cravings, you can see that they've also got a landing page here, which they're offering people to join their newsletter to get tips and tricks and goodies right in your inbox. So what they're doing is collecting a name and email address and they're also building their email list. And this is something that you could also do. At the end of each of your recipe, what you could do is leave a call to action. So my call to action is going to be get your free keto do's and don'ts guide, which is going to be congruent with the landing page because when they click on this link, it's gonna take them to this page, the opt-in page, where they can get their free, 100% free keto guide do's and don'ts by entering in their name and email address so I can also build my email list. So that's something you also wanna incorporate, guys, to build your email list. And then once that's done, you just wanna click on to publish. You're gonna add in your web address. So, so this could be your brand name, Keto Craze. Now, Keto Craze was already used up, so I just added in 101 at the end. And then all I need to do is click on to publish. Come to the top right hand side click on this link icon and then this is the link that you're going to be using inside your pinterest descriptions so you click on to copy link and now you want to start creating a pinterest pin so i'm going to click on to create pin to create your pins you want to come over to canva.com click on to create a design search for pinterest pin click on to 1080 by 1920 and this is where we're going to go ahead and upload our image that we created using leonardo ai and then we can stretch it out to make it fit the canvas. And like I said, guys, this is where you also want to be a little bit creative. You can look at what other accounts are doing, what kind of pins they're creating. But I believe this is a very nice image that we've created using Leonardo AI. And then what we can do is add in some text overlay by clicking on the text. And then you can search for a font. And this was keto bacon and cheese cauliflower casserole. Move that to the top. And then what we can do is once you've selected the text, we can click onto effects. Click onto background, I'm gonna change it to black. And then I'm gonna highlight the text and change the text to white. What we can also do is click on it and click onto transparency. Lower the transparency a little bit. You can also add in some additional text. Maybe we can add in the prep time and the cooking time, something like that, because that looks really enticing. It doesn't take long to prep and it also doesn't take long time to cook. Something just as simple as this, click onto share and then download this pin. Here is our first pin and now we need to add in the title description and the link to your website. We're gonna copy that for now, paste that into there. Now what we could do is ask ChatGPT, can you create me a title description board and tags for point one for better reach for my Pinterest pin? So the title we can use is discover delicious keto recipes and tips. This is gonna be your brand name, keto craze, and then we can copy the description. It's also added in search terms in our description. So keto recipes, low carb, high fat, weight loss, improve health. So these are all different keywords that people are searching for, delicious keto recipes. So this is the way you wanna optimize your Pinterest pins and include relevant keywords. And then we can copy the board name, click on to create board, paste in the board name, click on to create. And then this is where we can also add in the tags. Add in all the tags that ChatGPT has provided you with, guys, and that is your pin number one ready. Now, obviously, you want to pin regularly to keep your profile active and engage with your audience. So I recommend you pin at least three times a day. You can also schedule them. Now, the next thing is, is to go ahead and obviously find an affiliate offer. Now, obviously, I'm not going to upload this. This is just for example purposes. But what we could do is come over to Google and just search for the best 
keto affiliate programs and it brings me over to authorityhacker.com which is a reputable website where it's going to give us a list of 18 different keto affiliate programs that you can look into to promote now one of the programs that is listed on this website is actually a clickbank offer which is called the custom keto diet and you'll be able to find this over on clickbank.com come over to the marketplace type in custom keto diet into the search bar and then this is the product that you can go ahead and promote it has a good gravity score of 27 it pays 169 dollars per sale the great thing is they offer you a lot of tools and resources to help you promote the product so if i click onto the affiliate page to get access to all the tools and resources you want to enter in your clickbank id and your email click on to access affiliate resources you can scroll further down the page now by default it's going to lead people straight to the keto quiz quiz is definitely a great way for them to interact with your offer now if we scroll further down here it's going to give you the upsell flow the maximum you can earn with this offer is 169 dollars depending on if they obviously take the upsells so when they're first presented with the offer they get a seven day free trial leading into a 29 dollar rebuild after the seven days which will pay you 45 percent in recurring commissions month to month and if they want to upgrade to the physical product this is where you can also earn 40 percent in commissions so maybe you can have a deeper look into this to understand it guys and if we scroll further down you can see the overview of the customer demographics 80 percent are women so 80 percent are more interested in this product than men are it also shows you the ages the country so pinterest is definitely the perfect social media platform to use but most of the users on pinterest are female anyway and then if we scroll further down here it says you obviously want to incorporate a landing page and it recommends that you sign up to click funnels click funnels is really expensive they do charge around i think between 150 and 300 dollars per month so i've got an alternative for you if you click the fourth link down below this video in the description it will lead you to my number one recommended funnel builder tool and if you decide to use that funnel builder which will only cost you 25 dollars per month guys very cheap very inexpensive it will, it will bring you to the back office that looks like this you will also get additional affiliate marketing training worth over twelve thousand dollars and then once you click onto HBA Funnel Builders Academy, this is where you can access your Funnel Builder tool login. You will get step-by-step -step instructions. So this is not a course, this is actually actionable steps that you need to take to set up your Funnel Builder. It's gonna open up the different modules on the right-hand side. It's gonna give you the Funnel Builder setup, buying and integrating your custom domain, buying a business email on domain. These are really important steps, guys, because without this, if you're using a free email, all your emails will land up in spam unless you have a private email which will provide you with better email deliverability so all your emails will land up in your subscribers inbox so you can make money with email marketing it also shows you how to integrate your autoresponder with the funnel builder and then you've got all the funnel builder training along here on the left hand side you'll also have the ability to access the funnel builder live coaching you also get 24 7 support guys we've got a great community for only 25 dollars a month it's a steal compared to other funnel builders because what they're offering here a lot of funnel builders don't now if we come back to the affiliate supports page of the clickbank offer we're promoting they also offer you a lead magnet and a lead magnet is an incentive that obviously marketers use that offer potential buyers in exchange for their name and email address so you could obviously go ahead and download this lead magnet by clicking download and then what you can do guys is create a web page like this your private domain is going to be the same domain name as your brand name on your pinterest profile so that's something that you want to consider doing you want to obviously connect your custom domain to your landing page to this page because this is the landing page that is going to be displayed on your website so all your traffic from pinterest is going to come to your website this is where we can offer them more value build credibility if they want to get their free keto do's and don'ts guide it's going to take them to this page here where they're going to enter their name and email address and they also offer you email swipes and these email swipes will do all the selling and telling for you guys now this is what it looks like on a bird's eye overview what you want to essentially do is build out an affiliate marketing system for this example we're using traffic from pinterest which is coming to the opt-in page also referred to as a lead magnet and then on the thank you page you could have a message saying thank you for your request your free ebook has been sent to your email and then on the thank you page there will also be a button that's going to redirect them to the affiliate offer now the affiliate offer is going to be this clickbank offer here guys the sales page now once they land on the sales page they may be in the middle of doing something they may be out with their friends their family they may be in a restaurant they may be watching tv they may get distracted and they're not going to make a purchase that's the reason why we're collecting them an email address so we can retarget them remind them of the offer and this product and many affiliate products will provide you with already done for you high converting email swipes which you can use to retarget your leads back to the same offer to remind them about the offer 
and it takes about six to seven exposures before someone does make a buying decision but sometimes people buy when they're ready to buy. So that's why it's important to have an opt-in page and a lead magnet in place because you want to entice people to give us their name and email address. You always want to give away something for free guys in exchange for a name and email address. Otherwise it's very difficult for someone to give you their name and email address. Once we have their information, that's where we can follow up with them. But if you're not doing this guys and you're directing people straight to the affiliate offer, they don't buy, you've lost them forever. But if you're capturing a name and email address, you have their contact information. And through email marketing, you have one-on-one -on -one connection. You can build rapport. You can establish more credibility. And then you can also sell different affiliate offers in the future. So your email is your number one asset when it comes to making money online. Now, if you want to learn how to build this all out, guys, I have a free course on my channel by clicking on the playlist and then clicking on the $25 business. I'll show you how to build this all out. I'll also show you what I promote as an affiliate and earn up to $928 per sale per customer, along with recurring commissions. But I'll also show you how to set this all up. It's not very complicated, guys. Very easy. You only need to set this up the once and this will be working on complete automation making sales for you on complete autopilot whether you're out with your friends your family watching tv or sleeping it does not matter guys your all, your sales will be coming in automatically the only thing you really need to focus on is uploading pins like this every single day so you can drive traffic to your web page where you're providing more value building a connection with your audience and then obviously giving them an incentive so we can collect their name and email address and make money through email marketing that is the complete step-by-step -step tutorial for this pinterest affiliate marketing strategy that you can implement right away guys if you stick to this this can make you thousands and thousands of dollars per month guys this is the exact same strategy i use in my affiliate marketing business and this is what all successful marketers use is this affiliate marketing automated sales machine which i highly recommend that you set up this is by far the best way you can make money using pinterest affiliate marketing if you do have any further questions leave them down below in the comments box smash the like button and appreciation don't forget to subscribe i upload content monday through friday to help you make money online with affiliate marketing hit the bell icon on your way out and i'll see you in the next one take care god bless and bye bye for now